sorry everyone, that was, this is part, I guess it's going to be a part two video. Why not? Sure, two parts. Anyway, sorry, I had to do something. Anyway, uh, what I was continuing with, last video, there's a tornado path. Ugh, oh my gosh. <coughs> tornado paths. They're very, they're going to be very easily distinct, and on once you see them. Now we're going to drive over the Viroqua and West Viroqua, which just got hit by a possible EF4 to 5 tornado on a moderate day. Ooh, tomorrow's going to be hot. It's going to be bad. Now I'm on a private server right now, which is 150 Robux, but there's no private server command, so don't buy it. I was gullible. Now these are all your towns that you'll be going with. Hazelton is the main town. Everyone will meet up lit. Everyone will meet up at near the gas station. It's probably going to be the number one town you're going to be at. I'm going to take the route here and go south and assess the damage cuz yeah, there's a yeah. It what it yeah, it oh, it strengthened over Viroqua, West Viroqua, my bad. Okay, we're going to talk about tornado. No, once you hover over tornado, you're going to see three things. Track length, which is how long it went. Max funnel width, which is going to be the blue, the dark blue, and the wind field width, which is going to be the light blue. The wind field width is when, if, when you're near a tornado, your screen will start shaking, and you'll start seeing rain going sideways and debris getting kicked up, or dirt getting kicked up. That is the wind field. That is basically how far winds are when it's basically affected by the tornado. Obviously, 1.4 miles wide, obviously. At 1.4 miles wide. This definitely did damage to West Viroqua. We're just going to head south, go on the route, and attempt to see what, what happened. Oh, new storm popping up behind us. Now, in these, you could... Now, on long, straight routes like these, you could just you could just go as fast as you want and like just press C, which is cruise control, and just keep on going. However, once you do hit like dirt or something, like say like watch, I'm gonna hit the dirt real quick. You will lose your cruise control and you will start slowing down. I'm sorry, it's obviously kind of kind of annoying, but I don't really care. Now, the National Weather Service does have one very special ability that can garner a lot of money. That's damage assessment. Damage assessment is basically just them going to destroyed homes and or going to a destroyed town and seeing what it could be. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the radar and what it looks like in person. Because there will be little damage assessment blobs that will pop up. As you can see, we're now in the tornado path. Trees have been completely snapped in half. That is EF1 rated damage. Remember, if a tree is snapped, that is confirmed EF1. There's also a, tr a debark debarkation of a tree. Let me try to find the tree. A debark tree will look very, very obvious. It'll it'll be completely kind of whitish looking. Don't know if this will let me do it. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. It'll be complete. It'll look just like the tree without bark. Ooh, lightning over there. We're gonna turn here, and yeah, I already see damage. Yeah, that. Oof. I feel bad. Okay, is that a snap tree? We're gonna go up to it real quick. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold up, what's that? Oh no, that was a dirt road. I thought that was a yeah, mobile home area. Trees can block roads and they'll get annoyed. Okay, we're just gonna go up to tree. You basically equip your damage assessment and go up a tree. These are basically. This is based. These are the damage assessment. There's branches are broken, trunks snapped, trees debarked. These are for all trees. This is a softwood tree. This is gonna be a softwood tree because does not have a darker bark. Now if you go on radar, if you hover over it, it'll show you when it was surveyed, the type of damage abbreviation, if you really know, uh, the DOD, don't know that, and it'll show you what type, EF scale, EF1, wind speed is around 104, and it'll show, and it'll show you what's it. 
Now, sometimes you can over-assess and under-assess things. Like, let's say a home got completely slabbed. Well, you can just say, oh, all the walls were collapsed, but uh, a room still lived. That's under-assessment. Or you can do the opposite. Like, oh, this home was completely slabbed. Uh, as you can see, definitely no slabs tonight, but oof. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... Sometimes you can just make kind of things like that's definitely a destruction of a well constructed by It's not a slab, but it's a destruction. Okay. Okay, for people who want to get into the who want to use the EMS game pass, um well there's your NPCs. These guys will basically they'll base they'll appear once a storm has done damage. Any player can go up to them can go up to these and report it. And every EMS player will get a report that someone had has been killed. Oh, tornado on the ground there, tornado on the ground. It, sorry for the mic clip if y'all heard that. Obviously, it is very. Obviously, reporting in a private server does nothing because I'm the only one here, so yeah. Now, you're probably wondering, wow, that looks like EF4 to 5 level damage, but it's only EF3. Well, why not? Well, these home there's different types of homes in this game, and this is this home in the game's sense is not a well constructed home, so it does not so it could it basically could just withstand EF three level winds, which is a slab slab cream clean, or destruction of a well constructed resident, which is apparently what this says. Oh wait, there's a tornado right there. Oh shoot, hold up. I might actually get intercept on this one. All right, all right. I'm gonna teach y'all how about intercept. Real quick, go. Around ten o'clock. Around ten o'clock, thermos will start decaying. That means everything will start going down, 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 down. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that guy. Sorry. Okay, I'm not going to damage assess everything here, but obviously this is high-end EF3 and EF4 level damage here. Now we're going to go to Viroqua, or Viroqua, depending on how you say it, I don't know. Oh, I could intercept that for y'all, but oh, I don't, I can't, I just can't. Sorry, I just can't. I'm not going to get an intercept in this video, sorry guys. Now, if you now when you saw that one, now when I saw that landing flash, there was some green around that tornado. That means that tornado is rain wrapped. Rain wrapped tornado will happen when heavy, when heavy or very heavy rains basically start forming around it. This basically makes it so, so hard to see at the night. It is almost impossible to see it. Okay, we're gonna see where this uh, tornado went through. Okay, north of Iroquois, north of Iroquois. Here's a little help for you guys. Gas stations. If the gas pumps are ripped out, that's EF4 level damage. Gas pumps are lifted out, that's EF4. Okay, we're at some mobile homes. So obviously, mobile homes cannot survive for long. They are EF2 wind speeds. They will, they will crumble. They will crumble. I'm gonna do an accurate damage assist. Okay, that's complete removal of the roof. That's only 89 miles per hour. These are basically tornado death traps. No, you never want to go in one of them. Uh-oh. Well, y'all about to see a damage ball in a second. This is going right through Homa. Most of the Homa road, most of the homes are actually right here. So this is actually going to go right through it. Okay. This is a little glitch sometimes that can happen. Obviously, it, it just went north. What happened? It's still going, it's still going east. The thing just glitched. It's still going east. Obviously, it weakened, which is good. Okay. This, obviously, is complete removal of undercarriage. Yeah, this is blown away. That's literally loose debris. You can't argue that's loose debris. Any damage ball so far? Doesn't look like it. Sorry. Okay, uh... Let's just wait another. Oh, okay. This is really good. It shifted north. It went. It went back north. This was going east. Now it's going north. It shifted north. That can happen. Happens a lot with tornadoes in this game. If 
you do not know, Twisted will get Twisted 1.20 will be coming out either late summer or early fall, from what I'm told. And they they're gonna re revamp a lot of things like the Dominator 3 is getting a new model, all that jazz. Oh oh lord oh lord oh my. Okay. Obviously, the entire roof structure is gone here. This though. This is pretty severe. Yeah, that's pretty severe. Can I not get through this one? Thank you. Okay, that's entire roof structure. Entire roof structure. Okay, I think these are more well constructed homes, so I wonder if they'll update. Yeah, these are. These can go up to 200 miles per hour, and they'll have a higher wind thing. As you can see, the entire roof's gone. Yeah, the entire roof's gone, this one. Even more damage. This is basically just... Sorry. Oh, yeah. J is cinematic mode. This is if you want to get pictures and stuff. F can zoom in your camera. H will zoom out, and G will reset it. This is if you don't want to use the freaking drone... Which is kind of a rip-off, in my opinion. It's not that useful. Oh, it's just for people who want to take photos. It's not that useful, in my opinion. Anyway, that's basically kind of almost everything. I could go over Nick picky things, like... Uh... No, I can't remember. Eh, whatever. That's basically... Oh, sorry. That's basically kind of all there is for, like, a beginner's guide. Again, this is going to be a part two, because I was interrupted. Okay, okay. Real quickly. If you bought infinite fuel, it does not activate on its own. You need to go to settings and you need to activate it. And there's also this is also where you can act where you can do convoy ink guides. A little guide. A little guide that basically tells you tells you everything. Oh. If you hear that, that is a tornado those are tornado sirens. Oh yes. If you are in a red polygon when a tornado warning is issued, you will get a radio EAS alert. Let's see if I can get the uh, intercept here at 1.30 in the morning. Okay, in this video with a bang. Now, the day... Oh, there we go, there we go. Now, the days do not change at 12 a.m. They usually change at around 3 a.m. Wow, it's dark. Yeah, this is what it'll look like when you're inside a tornado. It's dark, and you cannot see anything. Now, I would have placed a probe down, but it's kind of too late already. There's the tornado. We're going to go chase it for just the outro for this. There's the, uh, the, uh, there's some debris. There's also another type of damage that's not accessible, but it's definitely seeable. Ground scaring. Ground scaring is when a super strong tornado rips through grass area and basically it removes the entire topsoil layer. You can definitely see this because the grass will become like brown, will start becoming brown and darkish. Let's see what type of tornado this is. Okay, this looks to be a wedge. This definitely looks to be a wedge. I now I if I intercept this, I don't want to I don't want to get so close like I don't want to get to around nine once it gets like to ninety miles per hour, I'm gonna kinda of start at the back off because I'll still be in a danger zone. When you're storm chain when you're storm chasing, you gotta do what you gotta do. The dirt roads, something you gotta do. No, tornadoes at this time usually do not last long because conditions are just not favorable. Okay, that little shadow right there, that's the rain that's the uh that's the rain. It's causing its rain ravage. As you can see, this is around a green TVS, around below 80 miles per hour. Don't think it's going to get above it. A new tornado, Sneed. Okay. Now, every this is basically everything you kind of need to know. I'm not going to catch up with this because it's too late in the morning. Now, yeah, see it lifted. Let's see how many tornadoes there were today. Okay, seven confirmed tornadoes, counting that one. So one ripped through Helma, two ripped through Viroqua, and West Viroqua, if I remember what I was saying. No, it was three. 
before. Yeah. And yeah, that's kind of it for a twisted kind of all through guide. It's kind of all you need to know. Again, days usually change at around 3 to 4.30 a.m. And there's a there's going to be a thing called a thermos jump. At around 7 to 8 a.m., everything in the thermos will jump like a few. Like, this could jump like a few thousand. This could jump uh, like 0.7. This could jump 10 degrees or something. This, is, this will happen, and once this happens, thermos will start rising, and conditions for that day will start appearing. Obviously... Oh wow, that this day sucks. Jeez. Okay, high days usually have high everything. This is terrible. And yeah, that's basically the guide. Again, this is going to be two parts. This will be a two-parter video because I got interrupted. Anyway, that is the twisted guide for basically everything on the surface. Anyone in the twisted community, just send just send me a comment if I miss something. Like, I don't know, like, no, F5 does something, which I'm not going to try, because I'm not that stupid. Anyway, I will see you guys later. And for everyone who made it to the end of the video, uh, yeah, I've been gone a while. I don't care. I'm sorry. I've been playing games. I don't care. Bye-bye.